Hi, it's Martin from martinh.net here. Today, we're going to be looking at the Raspberry Pi 400. What is the Raspberry Pi 400? This is a Raspberry Pi stretched to fit into a keyboard. The whole Raspberry Pi, they've stretched it out lengthways, even put a Kensington slot in, in case anybody gets a shine to your computer and decides they want to pinch it. Might be handy in schools. The whole thing's powered off one USB-C connector. Watch out. You pull your keyboard away from you or towards you very quickly, you might accidentally unplug it. The display is connected via micro HDMI. You might need a special cable for this. There's your storage, the micro SD slot. You can buy it with the operating system on a card pre-installed, so you just plug it in and go. And here's the Raspberry Pi GPIO connector, the expansion slot that lets you connect all kinds of gadgets and sensors to it. So that's Raspberry Pi 400. Let's play with it and see what we can do. So what can we do with the Raspberry Pi 400? Well, nowadays you've got things like Microsoft Word Online. Here's a book chapter I wrote. You could actually just do this in your web browser with Word Online. We've got alternatives to popular apps like Photoshop. So, you know, here's uh, GIMP, which is a nice Photoshop alternative. I'll just make the sea a bit darker there. Um, can watch Netflix and listen to Spotify. If you uh, install the DRM module from Chrome, that's a nice little hack I'll show you how to do in the description. Um, even do quite advanced things like 3D graphics with Blender. So when this eventually materializes, yay, there's baby Yoda. We can do this just about on the Raspberry Pi, really struggles to do some of this stuff. Um, and you know, it's not quite as powerful as maybe the computers that you're used to, but it's very cheap. So this is the kind of stuff that you can do on your Raspberry Pi 400. And that's been my 60 second review of the Raspberry Pi 400. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.